Boketov Khabarim. I'm Stephen Bernoun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Uh, Sputnik News 34 seconds ago actually reporting that the, it has begun. The, the, uh, they have started launching uh, cruise missiles uh, and also the aircraft carrier has uh, also got involved in the, uh, in the battle as well, uh, starting with Idlib. Uh, according to, let's see, I've just got one just a few seconds ago there. It live in homes. This is where they've actually begun the strikes as of right now. Uh, according to Sputnik News, says the Russian Admiral uh, Grigor Grigorovich frigate targets terrorists in Syria with missiles. Russian Admiral Grigor excuse me, Grigorovich frigate targeted terrorists in Syria with caliber cruise missile strikes, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Soigo said Tuesday. Today we started a large-scale operation on launching massive strikes on Daesh and al-Nusra front targets in Idlib and Homs provinces uh, in Syria, so uh, Soigo said. According to him, the Admiral Grigorovich frigate, Bastion uh, coastal missile systems, and for the first time in history of the Russian naval forces, Admiral uh, Kuznetsov aircraft carrier cruisers taking part in the military operation. Uh, and yes, the, uh, the Admiral um, Kuznetsov does carry cruise missiles. If you remember when Rick was on the other day with us, he spoke about that, that this is one thing that this uh, aircraft carrier uh, has the capabilities of, which is not probably common for an aircraft carrier, is to actually carry its own battery of cruise missiles uh, that are being launched in this particular operation. We'll be coming on later this evening updating you about these events, exactly what happens, what will NATO do as they watch these things. NATO has been really big on watching the humanitarian crisis, but of course have failed to let the world know the humanitarian crisis has been caused by the al-Nusra, uh, the al-Qaeda, and even the U.S.-backed uh, moderate rebels, as they are called, that have been launching not only chemical attacks, but even mortar rounds and scud missiles upon civilian populations in and around Aleppo, in western Aleppo. It's not actually been the airstrikes by Russia. So as those, uh, uh, as the catastrophe for the humanitarian issues have continued over the last few weeks here, when Russia has not been doing any air campaign, only as further proof that it is not the Russian campaign that has caused that, although we do realize that you know, uh, Scud missiles, uh, you know, uh, cr cruise missiles in this case here, and uh, aerial bombardments on uh, the areas after al-Nusra, uh, al-Qaeda, and the U.S.-backed moderate rebels is definitely going to cause collateral damage no matter which way you go. So that is a tragedy in itself no matter which way you go because these groups have been using and keeping captive as hostages uh, the Syrian people in order to, uh, to hope to... Uh, limit the, the amount of attack that would be done on, upon them as a result. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.